In the world of matrimonial law, there are In the world of matrimonial law, there are multiple tactics. <laughs> this morning, I stand before you a very different Miles Massey than the one that addressed you last year on the disposition of marital assets following murder-slash-suicide. I wish to talk to you today not about technical matters of law. I wish to talk to you about something more important. I wish to talk to you from the heart. Because today, First time in my life, I stand before you naked, vulnerable. And in love. Love. It's a word we matrimonial lawyers avoid. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? We're frightened of this emotion, which is in a sense the seed of our livelihood. Well, today, Miles Massey is here to tell you that love need cause us no fear. Love need cause us no shame. Love is good. Love is good. Now I am of course aware that these remarks will be received here with cynicism. Cynicism, that cloak that advertises our indifference and hides all human feeling. Well, I'm here to tell you that that cynicism which we think protects us, in fact, destroys, destroys love, destroys our clients, and ultimately, destroy ourselves. Colleagues, when our clients come to us confused and angry and hurting because their flame of love is guttering and threatens to die, do we seek to extinguish that flame so that we can sift through the smoldering wreckage for our paltry reward? Or do we fan this precious flame, this most precious flame back into loving, roaring life? Do we counsel fear or trust? Do we seek to destroy or build? Do we meet our clients' problems with cynicism or with love? The choice is, of course, each of ours. For my part, I've made the leap of love and there is no going back. gentlemen, this is the last time that I will address you as the president of no man or as a member. I intend to devote myself to pro bono work in East Los Angeles or one of those other. God bless you all.